about ABET accreditations. I have recently completed my undergrad from a non-ABET accredited university from developing country. I am planning to move to the U.S. for graduate studies and am currently preparing for the GRE. My concern is do ABET accredited programs accept applications from non-ABET accredited programs for graduate studies? Yeah. And how much does it matter in professional life if I complete my study from a non-ABET accredited university as an immigrant in the U.S.? I say it does matter to your professional life. Uh, that ABET accreditation will provide an extra level of legitimacy uh, to your career and also it would make you eligible to make it a lot easier for you to get your professional engineering license um, where, where having a professional engineering license might be an extra feather in your cap especially if your your undergraduate undergraduate degree is from outside the US but I I looked I, I've looked at a lot of engineering resumes from people that work for my company and almost every single one of them that is from outside of the US and had their undergraduate degree outside of the US had some kind of graduate studies degree in the US what one of them had an MBA others had masters in engineering um, but yeah m almost all of them got their their secondary education degree from a US institution the MBA was an outlier but they got their secondary degree from a US institution that offered ABET accredited degrees. And again, uh, my experience is not everybody's experience, but the companies I applied for, that was the number one thing they asked. Is your degree pro program ABET accredited? And I said, yes. So it's very essential to your ability to be an engineer in the US. Um, now, somebody else said, you know, it's essential to become a PE and be, being a PE is the only way you make money in this industry. I would not quite agree with that um i think that there's plenty of ways to make money as an engineer and you don't have to be a pe to do that um but you know obviously a P, having a pe can help it can open doors for you but it's not a prerequisite to your ability to earn a good living in the u.s but definitely uh definitely get your graduate degree from an abet accredited institution and from reading everybody else's comments it seems like it's not too big of an issue and uh, again I, i've seen plenty of resumes from people uh, that have worked for my company that are engineers and that got their undergrad from non-ABET universities and got their graduate from an ABET university. So if that is any evidence, I think you wouldn't have any issues. So best of luck. Thanks for watching this segment of the Engineering Success Podcast. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All those things really help me out. They boost me up in the YouTube algorithm and they'll help other people see this great content. Make sure to recommend the podcast to your friends. You can listen to it on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and anywhere else you get your podcasts content from. And make sure you leave me five-star reviews, like all my videos, and consider subscribing on Patreon or Anchor. All those things help me out, and I really appreciate it. Catch you next time.